about that? Yeah, it's evolution. Yeah? Evolution. Well, what started the evolutionary process? Science, knowledge. knowledge. But the word science means knowledge. A literal like organism. Proteins, intermingling. Well, what started that organism? God, Big Bang. Well, whenever there's a bang, you know, we want to look at an explosion. People, uh, what of, well, God? what caused that explosion? What brought it about? What started God? All right. Now I was, I was assuming you'd get to that. God, the God of the Bible has no beginning, he has no Same end. The universe. Wow, He's an okay. eternal being. Does God have a God? He is the first, he is the last. He is the everlasting God. He's number one. To ask what came before God is like asking what came before, what What's whole number universe? comes Same before what. Question. So we begin Can the we numerical be system with what? Can we become gods? What's that? Can we become gods? We can become God-like. As a matter of fact, we're made in the image of God. Yes. That means man like God was designed to be rational. Yes. We have the ability, we have the laws of logic. Those aren't physical laws, they're laws of the mind. They're not laws that can be observed like the laws of physics, uh, but uh, they're laws of the mind. We, uh, we have emotions. But we weren't designed to be governed by our emotions. The problem is, a lot of you come out, you argue with me, and most of you just emote. If you don't really present arguments or formulate intelligent questions, some do, but most don't. Then we have our natural or physical appetites. But what makes us like God is we're rational. And we make moral choices. See, animals are creatures designed to be governed by reason. A lot of you believe in evolution because you're living life at the animalistic level. You're motivated primarily by your physical appetites. You know, if it feels good, do it. You've all heard that one. You're governed by your feelings instead of being governed by reason. Was it Darwin a Christian? Well, actually, uh, Darwin had a degree. I think it was in Oxford, Cambridge, one of In, in uh, divinity. Everybody back in those days when he went to college. Made, he studied divinity. He, he was not trained, formally trained in biology. Neither were you. But uh, no, neither was I. My formal training is history. Of course, it's introductory biology courses and all that. But my formal training is history. He was deeply religious, and yet he believed in evolution. Well, there may be uh, some people that uh, are. So you think that evolution and religion can't coexist? Did you say don't take the Bible literally? Oh, uh, Are well, you like Nicodemus here and it too literally? Okay, let's just assume Genesis is taken figuratively. What figure of speech do you read in the first few chapters of Genesis that would lead you to Oh, I see. We evolved that all species have a common ancestor. That's one of the main uh, tenets of evolution. Now, what do you, what figure of language do you read in the Bible so that I'll, would I'll lead you to that this. conclusion? I'll engage with you on this. Uh, I'll, let's start from the, or the age of the, the Earth. When they say 6,000 years, I'm just going to be on your side well, here. We don't, Bob and I have anything about dates. We're not talking about dates. Well, I'm asking but, a, I'll get to that a specific question. But when they say 6,000 years, we can say that years is not actually the same thing as a human year. Yeah, a lot of people say that. A lot of Christians so, believe that. I don't have a problem so with that. So do you believe that the Earth is older than 6,000 years old? Like 6, well, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, that's not my field. Uh, but uh, we're talking about the question I brought up. The basic tenet of evolution like is all, all species have a common ancestor. Isn't that what evolution teaches? Yeah. All right. Now, what figure of speech do you see in Genesis that would lead you to that conclusion? So, I mean, why do you use figures of language? Because you can better convey an idea, your thought, than you can through literal language. God was the father. Because you, you refer to them as like the, the, the mother and father species, or like 
Well, God is right? referring to as our heavenly okay. Father. He's our spiritual Father. Yes or no question? Yes, you're interpreting it differently than I am. Yes or no question? Can religion coexist? Your religion coexist with the theory of evolution? Well, I think it would uh, adversely affect a person's faith. Yes but I think no. there are Christians, uh, sincere Christians, who may have accepted the uh, evolutionary idea. So, yes or no? That's a yes. Yeah, that's a that's yes. A yes. yes. All right. But, uh, I mean, I don't, none of us are perfect in knowledge to understand I'm sure some things I probably talked to you here today aren't maybe quite right. But uh, the basics are right. 